All right, folks. So we're back. And there's no time for a creative, funny, slash, amazing intro like you're used to seeing from me because, well, I didn't think of one. <laughs> But the reason I was going to say and probably should have said is the fact that we are here for a brand new YouTube boxing event. It's coming to us May 14th. You guys may have and probably have heard of it by now because just like Optimus Prime and the Autobots, it's rolling out. But like I said, a brand new YouTube boxing event. We're all excited for it and it's being put on by iDubs, him and his wife Anissa, and they've got a pretty cool event set up here. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't know everyone on this card just yet, but that's kind of what today's video is for. So, I don't want to hear anybody in the comments going, How did you not know this is my favorite creator? I've been watching him since 2013. I can't believe that you didn't. You have to stop. Like, you have to. The Creator Clash, it goes live on May 14th. What is this event all about? Who's on it? And what does it mean for the YouTube boxing scene? Breakdown. Let's go. All right, first things first, let's talk about the event itself. What do we know? Number one, it's going to be in Tampa, Florida on May 14th. Number two, it's headlined by iDubs and your resident YouTube heartthrob healthcare provider. Yes, I'm talking about the man that will stop your heart with his looks and then bring you back to life because he's a doctor and certified to do those things, I, I think. That's right, I'm talking about Dr. Mike. That's a banger of a main event and potential for more big time names to be interjected into this YouTube boxing scene. But we're gonna start this breakdown from the bottom of the card to the top. In other words, we're taking this card like I take shots because I'm a grown man. We're going bottoms up. All right, so this is what we have, the Creator Clash. I love the way this, this website is built. It looks like a Street Fighter kind of 1990 style fighting game. I, this is dope, I like that. Okay, quick warning, next five to six seconds, everybody turn your volume down. My ears almost bled from my brain hearing this loud ass sound and I don't want that to happen to you. Mwah. I love you guys, 21 plus only on the kisses. Okay, back to the video. Oh, there's music, let's listen. Ah! <laughs> Uh, almost blew my eardrums out. Jesus Christ. Like I was telling you guys, I think there's only, like, you see these question marks. These are potential, what is this? I'm not sure if anybody else in 2022 is getting rickrolled, but this is the entertainment you come for here at the Wade Concept, I guess. Boomer Wade getting rickrolled and walking around with a stiff back and a blood clot. All right, we have Michael Reeves and Graham Stephan. Graham does some real estate investing, like he's going to try to invest some time and space into the head of Michael Reeves. Here's how you make a guy like me, who's 29 and broke his feel like he's absolutely failing in his entire life. You make a video called How I Became a Millionaire in Real Estate by 26. <laughs> I'm happy for Grant, but uh, it, I, I'm crying on the inside. All right, so this is Michael Reeves. He has 6.4 million subscribers, another heavy fucking hitter in this YouTube boxing scene. And as it just goes to show you guys, you don't need great artwork on your channel because it looks like his picture is from a middle school sleepover. Let's just take a look at one of these videos and see like, what he does. This motherfucker built a, like a, what is that, a hydraulic space chair? What's it gonna do, shoot up into the air? Hell yeah, it works. I mean, it's, it's, but Michael, I hear you ask, does it work? This man just hot wired a chair. I've heard of hot wiring car. He hot wired a chair, bro. So yeah, listen, that first fight, Michael Reeves and uh, and Graham, I, I don't know if there's much there that we can really talk about, but I hope they both take it seriously. I'm assuming they will. I think I'm gonna give the benefit of the doubt to everyone here that they will take it seriously. So that's really all you can say. All right, so next up we have I did a thing versus the odd ones out. So this video is called, can I jump rope fast enough to stop the rain? I haven't seen any boxing, which we're probably not going to see on anyone's channel. This is the closest thing we're going to get. Let's see if he can skip rope. Test myself. I'm actually pretty close. Okay, hold on a second. Wait, what kind of accent am I hearing? With around three rotations a second. He's Australian or something. I did not come here for OnlyFans foot con- Okay, we're- let me just- Alright, so I don't know much about I did a thing, but he's obviously very quick with his feet. That's something. Looks like a, you know, fairly tall-ish guy too, right? He didn't look like a, a short guy at all. Alright, so let's take a look at the odd ones out. Not every channel is gonna be for me. Um, obviously a very good animator. A lot of work goes into this. I can I can definitely appreciate that, but uh, nothing to do with boxing, so we're just gonna move the f on. So next up, we have Matt Watson and 
dad. You know what? We're going to check out Matt Watson first because I'm I'm getting creeped out by this guy's eyes. So, Matt Watson. I mean, that's facts. Low key. We got a matchmaker profile. Online, 25-year-old male. Okay, younger than me. Relationship. Married to the grind. I hear you, brother. <laughs> Because I I, uh, <clears throat> I also get no girls. He does look like a very tall guy, though. And listen, this looks like, again, he like he admits he is a little bit malnourished. We need to give the guy a goddamn sandwich. But this isn't a terrible build for boxing. Very lean. Got a, probably a long reach. Got a wide wingspan. Yeah, this is not terrible. I'm going to regret this. Let's take a look at his opponent, a.k.a. Dad. <laughs> I'll be boxing Matt Watson from Super Mega. Many of you may. Matt Watson from Super Meg. Okay, so the channel we watched him at probably isn't his main channel. Oh, Matt's music or his sketches. Matt's my friend, and I'm glad to be fighting him. They're friends. Okay. I'd like to say thanks again to iDubs for including me. Why is he talking while just sitting there not opening his mouth? He's like trying to ventriloquist himself. He's doing voiceover, but he could just be saying this on camera. Maybe this is his channel thing. I, I don't know. Oh, f that scared the shit out of me. Oh, nah, dude. I was already creeped out enough. What the f is this? <laughs> Sorry, Nathan. <laughs> so prepare yourself, man, for super mega <laughs> pain. That was intentionally supposed to be creepy, and the message was received loud and clear. Let's move on. <laughs> All right, so next we have Ryan McGee and Alex Ernest. All right, so this is Super Mega. This is the, the, the Matt Watson guy's channel as well. So apparently Ryan and Matt run this channel together. They actually have an announcement trailer as well. So let's see. Okay. I like it. Okay, now we're taking the piss a bit. Yeah, Creator Clash. Boom. Have the water in the mouth ready. Don't bite down on the mouthpiece. Let it fly out. Yeah, okay. Not bad, not bad. There's nothing really to see from that other than he threw some punches for a promo and they cut most of it. <laughs> so let's take a look at Alex. They took a picture of me and they don't even know my f They don't even know my f The funny thing about this sketch, <laughs> he has this phone, right? It's got a cord running into his iPhone. So his phone is being uh, used as an extension for his phone, essentially. You can't hear me that well? Hang on. Oh, it's part of the bit? <laughs> it's part yeah, of the bit. Some phone uh, attachment thing. Again, nothing to see there. Very entertaining dude. Can't really get his size or his kind of like what he looks like. But we got to move on. All right, so now we come to our only women's fight on this card, at least for right now. And that is Yodeling Haley and Just a Minx. So Yodeling Haley, I heard from the Twitter space. Uh, again, Happy Punch, Fight Lounge, all those guys. I heard she was mostly on TikTok. We're just going to watch one of these TikToks and see what it is that she does. What the f***? Did I just watch the disrespect being thrown on Ice Cube's name with that remix of the song It Was a Good Day is enough for me to want to move on. I'm sure she's a very good TikToker and I'm sure she's going to do great on this card, but that pissed me off and it's why I'm not on TikTok and you'll never see me on TikTok unless I decide to get on TikTok. I don't want to do it though. I, I don't want to. <laughs> All right, so this is Just a Minx. She did a video called I Decided to Google Myself. Just a Minx is a me what the fuck? Literally? I don't know why that's got me so mad. She sounds Irish. If you are, I'm a fellow Irishman myself. I don't actually know if I'm Irish. It may just be based off the fact that I'm a Conor McGregor fan and I drink proper 12. But that doesn't fucking matter, mate. I bleed the bleeding orange, white, and green, mate. I remember on the call, Anissa saying that Minx is a tall girl. So I'm going to find out just how tall she is. Five feet, nine inches? Jesus, she's a starting point guard in the WNBA. All right, so next we have Hunter and AB from the H3 podcast. What's good? What's good? Those nips looking. You can't see them. That's incredible, dude. Don't look at my nips. Mm. Don't look at my nips, but my shirt is off and tape is on them. But please don't look at them. This is, uh, what is it? Hundar. He has Muay Thai shorts on. Is this guy a... Is this guy a fighter? I don't know people that just buy those to wear. I don't know if this guy's fought before. I don't know. He's jacked up. He's built. 
Big legs, big shoulders. He's a big fucking guy. Again, this is another kind of clue. I think he has like a little modified reflex bag back here. I don't know. This looks like this guy has either never done anything before and he's training, which would make sense, or he has done some martial arts before and he's probably one of the guys that's experienced. I don't know. But there's uh, Hundar. With the Muay Thai shorts and the reflex bag, I'm still thinking that there is at least something there for Hundar. I don't know if that's the case for this guy, AB. Okay, let's see here. Anything that I can see of him that's remotely athletic. And this is not disrespectful that I say this, but he looks like Nade Shot if he never got good at Call of Duty. So yeah, he is an employee at H3H3. Um, looks like a creative dude. His stature is a lot smaller than my man Hundar. And again, it, it'll be interesting with the weight classes, how they're gonna get that fight sanctioned. There's a very big difference in weight, it looks like. And I don't know who's coming down or what's happening, but I could be wrong. All right, so right after that, we have two blank slots. And I've heard, and this is just complete conjecture and rumor, that another friend of the channel and recent boxing main event winner, Alex Wasabi, could possibly be fighting on this card as much as i would love to call bullshit on this i have heard from credible sources that this is something that is being looked at not to say that he shouldn't be on this card it's not good to be on this card it's just for alex a guy that just won as recently as he did he risks losing and losing out on a major payday with ksi i don't see it but it could happen let's get to our co-main event on the evening and that is harley from epic meal time versus ego raptor first thing i want to say is harvey is a giant individual this is an old video I just wanted to show you guys this is him sitting in a regular sized car and this seat is more laid back than your PE teacher that just does not give a sh about what happens in his classroom he's a monster we might okay so this is Aaron right he is aka ego Raptor he's sitting down here so I don't know his size I'm actually gonna look it up all right it says ego Raptor's height is a sturdy and solid 62 that is not the 66 that epic meal time is so already we have a four inch height advantage which is gonna turn into at least equal or more of a reach advantage probably more so again things you got to watch out for in this fight just right off rip without skill involved and again this will be the first fight for everyone on this card and that includes the main event so this one's going to be interesting but let's finally get to that main event we know two things one that dr mike does have 10 years in his own words of actual boxing training experience but he hasn't had a fight so i think he means either light sparring or training experience but we did watch him hit the bag hit the mitts and move in the ryan garcia video he looked sharp he had big power he had decent head movement he was able to output a lot of energy quickly we will have to see how having that big bulky frame will affect his gas tank i'm excited to see it because i want to see if he has potential to possibly get into that realm of the logans the ksis does he have that ability because he's a big guy and we don't have a lot of those guys at that weight class in youtube boxing so potentially he could be the next one but there is more potential and it's on the other side of the ring and that is with iDove. and if you had seen his videos up until this year you would say this is not a fair weight matchup between these two because iDove's in his own words, walked around at about 150 pounds, but I gotta give the guy's credit, he gained 30 pounds in the last year, and again, in his own words, and his wife Anissa, they've been working, sparring, eight months straight, every week, twice a week, pad work, multiple times a week, they have committed themselves to this, so I'm not gonna count the guy out, we've seen stellar athletes lose to maybe people that weren't as athletic, or didn't have as much sports experience, aka Logan and KSI, I think this is a fun fight, and it's gonna be a measuring stick for either guy because whoever wins they could become that next big name in the youtube boxing scene they already have massive followings logan paul and jake and ksi might not be in the realm of possibility yet but off namesake alone you never know but there is the creator clash card listen i'm excited for this thing uh there's still a lot that we don't know some fights that fell off that maybe they're trying to replace but in due time we're gonna figure this thing out in the meantime you guys let me know what you think down below how do you think this card does are you excited for it what do you think will be the lasting image who's gonna be the best fighter on the card this thing does feel different and i think that's a good thing for this scene and the biggest question that i have and it's on my mind is in this main event a lot of people are counting i dubs out I mean a lot of people but on fight night can iDubs flip the script and provide these hands to the doctor for once 
I don't have that answer, but May 14th in Tampa, Florida, and in the lead up beforehand, guess we'll find out.